Hi everybody, Cynthia here. I'm going to share some projects that I can finally check off my very long project to-do list. I know we all have them. And um, basically anytime I see somebody do a project that I love and I want to try, I make sure I write it down on a list so that I remember I wanted to do that. Or if I see them do a certain technique I've never tried before, I write it down. The problem is my list is getting so long and I was never doing anything on it. I was doing everything but that. So that's one of my goals this year is to, you know, start doing things on my to-do list. So I was gifted paper bows this Christmas from Muriel. She's Ms. Cooper's Coop here on YouTube. Hi, Muriel. And I loved them. I thought they were so cute. And, um... She followed a tutorial from Bona, who is Live Love Scrap. I will post the link below so you guys can check out the tutorial. And I saw a tutorial quite a while ago from Canal Crafting. She is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the UK. And she used a Stampin' Up! punch board um, instead of the We Are Memory Keeper punch board. And... I loved the bow she made um, because the tails pointed down and um, I don't know I just thought it was really sweet so I ended up checking out both tutorials again and basically got the gist of how to put them together and and did my own measurements and everything but I'm gonna post the link below to both channels because I think it would benefit you to watch you know both of them and because um, they're different they're both different styles and um, yeah, I think you'll enjoy them, and they're, and they're both great tutorials, so definitely check the links below for that. Um, I was gifted the We Are Memory Keepers board from Irene. She's Crafty Irene here on YouTube. Thank you so much, Irene. I am having a blast with this thing. <laughs> um, I did manage to make some paper bows with this punch board, and I made some burlap paper bows by hand without it because I tried to punch that paper so thick it would not punch with this punch. So I kind of figured out how to do them by hand and they came out kind of cute, I think. So I started packaging some up already so you won't be able to, and they're in like Valentine bags. So you won't really be able to, to see how they turned out. But these, this is the style that Canal, I got from Canal Crafting and if let me move this if you can see the the tails point down you know like a bow regular bow and I love that I love that look the only difference is like I said I did different measurements and then I also did a double bow and basically I just went one inch smaller than I did with this piece here so that I could get a double layer but um, I made some of these to coordinate with a gift set that I'm sending out. And then I tried um, the straight across tails. And I love how they turned out too. Um, but like I said, I did different measurements because I kind of liked my tails smaller. Not so, you know, long out from the bow. But that's how they turned out. So I was really, really happy to um, be able to check these off my list. <laughs> I gave them a try and I just, I really loved how they turned out. And then these are my burlap ones. Now I also used, um, I used some of the bingo pieces for the, for these. And I used different paper studio ribbons, the clock one the ticket one and the Metal Gear looking ones and then I played around with my um, film strip ribbon from Tim Holtz it's like a plastic plastic acetate and I used some alcohol inks to um, I think I used caramel to just ink it up a little bit more so it would be more noticeable and I'm not sure if I really like how that one turned out, but it was so, it's just fun to play around, you know, with your different items. And let's see. Oh, and I used, I also used some, I don't know where it is right now because my desk is a mess, but I used some ribbon 
from Recollections. It's the sewing theme ribbon, the measuring tape. But these are how my burlap paper ones turned out. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I used paper from the burlap stack, burlap stack from DCWB. I'm sure you've all have seen it. It's been around forever. It's, it's burlap on one side and then like a craft paper on the other and it's pretty thick and it would not go through my punch board so I just kind of figured it out and did it by hand but um, I used two uh, wooden spools for my centers and then between my bow layers I just layered in some of these um, ribbons and then curled up the edges a little bit so that's how those two turned out and then I did two with the ticket ribbons and the bingo um, pieces, wooden pieces. And I just used my, um, oh, I don't know where it is at the moment, my Bic alcohol marker to um, color it up because these were red. As you can see here. And that's how those turned out. And this is the film strip one I was talking about with the Tim Holtz. I alcohol inked it and tucked some strips in and then I used a bobbin and I alcohol inked that and then I cut the film strip ribbon in half and coiled it around the bobbin because I kind of wanted it to look like you know one of those film reels and I'm not quite sure if I like this or not yet but I just keep staring at it thinking hmm <laughs> but like I said it's fun to play around and then this is my metal gear one. Just used, I used one of the bingo chips to actually prop up the gear so that, um, cause I didn't want to really flatten out this bow by gluing it in the center and it's kind of wide. So I wanted to pop it up, but that's how that one turned out. And then the last one is the clocks. I used a metal heart clock with one of the arms and a little brad and some ribbons so that's my bow project that I wanted to give a shot give it a shot and I'm going to be gifting some of these in racks and they were a lot of fun to make so make sure you check out the the two tutorials below and there's also a bunch of other tutorials out there if you just do your YouTube search bar I'm sure you'll find others and and um uh, you know give it your own style but thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions let me know take care